coming up on BG24 News. The Office of Residence Life has changed the requirements to live off campus. Find out if that affects your housing plans. Plus, BGSU has developed a new way for students to receive help in the library. And we have had beautiful weather to kick off the fall season. But what's in store for the rest of the week? We'll take a look at your full Black Swamp weather forecast. Welcome to your campus and community connection. Live local news starts right now. This is BG24 News, live at 5.30. Good evening, everyone. I'm Maya Lanier. And I'm Alexis Cook. Thanks for joining us tonight. Changes are coming to BGSU's residency policy. Before, students only needed to stay on campus for two years before moving off campus. But the new policy will be changing that. That's right. The new policy is requiring students to be at least 20 years old out of high school for two years and with 12 complete credit hours. Residence Life says that these changes will align BGSU with other universities within the state. BGSU Jerome Library has developed a new way for students to get library assistance. Reporter Kayla Shatler says help from a librarian is now at students' fingertips. It is normally found for students to text in class, but the Jerome Library is encouraging students to text librarians for academic help. Students with research questions can get the instant answers using Text a Librarian. This is the web chat used by the library and its staff to answer all the questions sent to the new Text a Librarian program. When students text us, it doesn't actually go to our phone anywhere. It goes straight up on our computer and it comes in the same way as our chat questions come in. Research Info staff answers the question while their services are open. This is the second time the facility has implemented the service. Questions can range from finding books to how to rent a laptop. Texta Librarian has not been considered for libraries, learning commons, or stack services. Reporting for BG24 News, I'm Kayla Shadler. You can ask your questions by texting 419-318-1999. BGSU freshmen interested in pursuing internship opportunities can now receive more help. The Career Center's new Falcon Internship Guarantee Program allows students to prepare for and set up for internships. Students can attend resume workshops and consultations. They can also practice interviews. The program is geared towards freshmen, but other students can attend individual workshops. Bowling Green police are still investigating the theft of Borney's BP. Last Friday night, an unidentified male called BP claiming to be from another station and convinced the clerk that he would send an employee from another store to pick up transfer of funds. The money was handed over to a white female with long brown hair, a pink hat, pink sweatshirt, and blue jeans. Contact the BG Police Division if you see anyone matching this description. Well, my the weather has been amazing lately. What are your thoughts on it? Yes, I feel that it has been great today. Well, because last past days it has been pretty terrible. Pretty cold. Yes. But here we have Paul Mims with us. Paul, what's your outlook on the weather? Well, I currently agree with you ladies about the weather we have today, especially with the poster cell we had outside of campus. Currently looking at about 69 degrees with some sunny skies. Winds are pretty light, and I'll have your full Black Swamp weather forecast in a bit. A BGSU co-ed fraternity almost doubled their members last night. Alpha Phi Omega had 69 members last year. After last night's initiation, they now have 110. President Sarah Music says all members will take part in promoting fraternities' core principles. Our cardinal principles are leadership, friendship, and service. So our main focus is on service. Um, we serve the community, the nation, our chapter, and the campus. Alpha Phi Omega participates in BGSU Dance Marathon and donates to many other national charities. And coming up, thieves have been tampering with public sewers. Find out more. And a woman was killed in a horrific car crash in Toledo. We have all the details when we return. In the past week, six sewer lids from city streets in Bowling Green have been stolen. City officials have requested that citizens be on alert for missing lids when traveling. If you see someone tampering with a public sewer that does not have identification, please call the Bowling Green Police immediately at 419-352-1131.
In Toledo, there has been a number of related carjackings this month, including two yesterday morning. The victims are led to believe they are meeting a woman from whom they have been talking to online. When the victims met the woman, they are met by two men who brutally beat them and then drove off with their car. Police officials believe that there could be over five suspects involved. A woman was in a head-on collision, killing her yesterday morning in Toledo. Donna Rush Court Wright was going westbound on Heather Drowns Boulevard intersection when Regional Arrington crossed the center lane, hitting her vehicle head on. Rush Court Wright was thrown out of her car and Arrington was severely hurt. Rush Court was rushed to the hospital and pronounced dead shortly after. The intersection was shut down for several hours due to the incident. Two Elmwood High students will volunteer a cancer-related event as part of their sentence. Last month, two boys admitted to theft after soliciting donations for a non-existent cancer patient last winter. A judge ruled on Monday that the boys are to perform cancer-related community service and provide an essay on the benefits of cancer research and funding, as well as pay restitution and provide a letter of apology to the victims. An Arkentine faces chargers, charges after coming to school with a semi-automatic pistol. The Arkin high, high student was serving an in-school suspension when he left the building. When he returned to the school, the assistant principal and officer tried to take him into custody. The officer subdued, subdued the boy after feeling a gun in the student's clothing during the struggle. No shots were fired during the struggle. When we come back, the White House is making changes in security. And after the break, we'll have your full black swamp weather forecast. Stay with us. Forecast with BG24 Black Swamp Weather. Good evening, everyone. I'm Paul Mims, and here's your Black Swamp weather forecast. Currently we're looking at about 69 degrees outside with some pretty sunny skies. We do, um, some pretty sunny skies. Everything was bright, wonderful, great fall day. As we go towards tonight's forecast, we're looking at a low of 47 degrees with some clear skies as well. There's no sign of precipitation, and we only have wind that's about light and variable at about 3 to 5 miles per hour. As we're going to tomorrow's forecast, we're looking at about a high 77 with some clear skies as well. Another sunny day with winds about the same as going to be tonight from the east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. As we go to tonight, tomorrow night's forecast, we're looking at a low of 49 degrees with clear skies as well, and the winds will be from the same direction at 5 to 10 miles per hour. So in the next day or so, we're looking at some pretty sunny, clear, dry weather we have here today. So as we go towards our temperatures, you can see that we are at about 69 degrees in the Bowling Green and Perrysburg area. And around the temperature range of around Northwest Ohio, we're looking at about the same temperature ranges throughout. And as we go towards the east, and we go towards the east, you can see temperatures will fall just a bit, but not too dramatically. As we go towards our national radar, as you can see, there's nothing, pretty much nothing happening around the Midwest area. As you can see, there's no precipitation happening our way as we go on towards the week and towards the weekend. So, and that takes us to our five-day lookout for the rest of the week. As you can see, we have Tuesday today was 69, low 47. Wednesday, high 77, low 49. Thursday, some sunny skies again with a high of 76 and a low of 50. Friday, partly cloudy skies, but only 10% chance of precipitation, so not much happening with a low of 50. And Saturday, some sunny skies once again with a high of 77 and a low of 52. So, Paul. Are you excited for the weather this week? I'm very excited for the weather this week. We're looking at a pretty moderate temperatures with some very dry weather, which is a complete change from last week. So I'm excited for the weather and towards the weekend as well. Do you have any exciting plans, guys? Um, not quite sure about the plans yet. Well, I guess shopping. Shopping is always great. Great outdoor activities yeah, for this week. Great it for, for this type of weather, definitely. The White House is improving their security following a security breach. The breach forced agents to evacuate the White House on Friday, shortly after President Obama and his daughters boarded a helicopter that evening. A man jumped the fence, ran across the lawn, and into the White House. The Secret Service will increase patrols and surveillance after reviewing the security breach. 
Yesterday, the United States began airstrikes against ISIS in Syria. According to the U.S. intelligence, the areas that were targeted were home to ISIS agents who were planning attacks against the United States and other Western targets. President Obama had this to say on the matter. Once again, it must be clear to anyone who would plot against America and try to do Americans harm that we will not tolerate safe havens for terrorists who threaten our people. The World Health Organization and the U.S. health agent fear the number of Ebola cases could increase in the next few months. According to a report, up to the 1.4 million cases may be reported in mid-January, and two nations along unless efforts and lessen the outbreak and increase. The analysts always determined that Ebola cases are rising and the disease has the potential to sicken people for years if control measures are not increased. Early this morning, three were found dead at UPS store in Birmingham, Alabama. All three were reported dead on the scene, including the gunman from what appears to be self-inflicted wounds. The investigation is currently underway. John Michaels, join us now for a look at campus and community sports. John? Thanks, Maya. Coming up, reporter Terry Lesh takes us and men's soccer battles a nationally ranked team Wednesday. We'll talk about the matchup when we come back. It's unfalcon believable coverage that you won't get anywhere else. This is BG24 Sports. Welcome to BG24 Sports. I'm John Michaels. Men and women's golf just finished play earlier today. The women's team ended third at the Cardinal Classic, while the guys were at the back taking 11th at the Ree Jones Invitational. Individually, Fran Rodriguez from the ladies finished second and Jose Nero from the men's tied for 24th. After a long weekend of Falcon Sports, tennis player Maddie Adams and men's soccer forward Pat Flynn take home the Pizza Hut Athlete of the Week. The BGSU Invitational, Adams won the number two singles flight championship, while Flynn scored two game-winning goals for last week's Falcons. This is the second time Flynn has been named. After last week's performances, Flynn was also named for the College Soccer News National Team of the Week. The sophomore was one of 11 to be recognized. Bringing in yet another award, Flynn earned the MAC Player of the Week. The forward has 12 goals on the season, the first soccer player to do so since 1996. He is also ranked first in nationally in goals. Wednesday night men's soccer faces nationally ranked Michigan State. The Spartans hold on to a 17 ranking in the NCAA. They are 1-1 one one in the season. Bowling Green sits at 6-1, the team's best start in 19 years. BG is also ranked first in scoring. It should be a close one against the Spartans. Game, one, game time starts at 7 at Cochran Field. Well, that's all for BG24 Sports. Follow us on Twitter for breaking Falcon athletic scores and news. And check us out on Facebook for videos throughout the week. I'm John Michaels. We'll be right back. After four years of planning and one year of construction, the BGSU Recreation Center is finally open. Reporter Amy Steigerwald says the response has reached beyond the student community. The newly renovated BGSU Rec Center has been up and running for more than a month. The Rec's updates include a new exterior design, expanded workout space, and 95% new equipment. Uh, there's a lot more space this year. It's kind of awesome. Uh, I like the new equipment, too. None of it's broken. <laughs> Some students say the equipment has improved with the Rec. Yeah, the new equipment, there's definitely a lot more stuff here than there was last year. Director of Recreation and Wellness, Steve Camp, says he is excited to see the new project come to life. Uh, the rec center has been under construction now, under physical construction for over a year. Uh, a lot of planning has gone into this, for over three to four years of planning, plus the construction has gone on. The renovations are bringing in more students than ever. Daily attendance has increased from 1,800 visitors a day to 2,600. There are still more renovations to come to the rec, including an indoor soccer court. I just like to see more people show up, check the place out. Reporting for BG24 News, I'm Amy Steigerwald. And so far, the renovations have cost $17 million. So, Paul, what are we expecting this weekend? 
we're expecting some pretty moderate temperatures coming up towards the week and towards the weekend. This weekend we're looking at about 77 degrees for a high and around the 50s mark around for the low. So we're looking at pretty dry weather, so no precipitation happening this week as well. So great for outdoors activities this weekend. So what are your plans for this weekend in terms of the great weather we're having? You know, I think I'm going to hang out with my friends outside and maybe, you know, just do whatever comes to mind. Right, maybe it's an event coming up, so hopefully that'll be good to do. I'm just excited because fall is such a wonderful oh, season yeah. for me, so, so I'm so excited for the great the weather we're having. Yeah. Exactly, exactly, yes. especially for sports. I, I love agree. dressing up for the weather. It's, <laughs> it's very, yes, I love it. So that's something I definitely enjoy doing. That's all for BG24 News tonight. Check out these stories and more online at bg24news.org. And check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Have a good night, everyone. Okay. You can